All right. Good day, champions. This is Noble Mike Jameson for another episode of Game Time. I am dialed in to you today from my home office. And uh, as always, I'm actually honored and excited to share today's topic with you. And uh, it's one of my favorite. You know, I heard this saying um, many years ago, probably over two de decades ago, in the early parts of my personal development, I was listening to uh, one of the legends of our industry, Jim Rohn, and uh, he used to always say profits are better than wages, right? Profits are better than wages. And, um, and so me being the engineer that I am, right, very detailed, today I just want to spend just a few minutes on today's podcast just talking about um, why profits are better than wages in the in the simplest form okay now you could probably talk to you know several different coaches several different mentors and get a definition that explains why profits are better than wages but this is noble mike jameson's version of why profits are better than wages and so what i want you to do in today's uh, broadcast is I want you to take just a few notes, okay? Because I'm going to read for you uh, two definitions. One is for profits. One is for wages. We're going to talk about a few key words in each definition, and then we'll be done. But understanding the importance of knowing that profits are better than wages and why you want to be in a position to gain profits as opposed to wages. Now for myself, um, when I first got out of college, I was a wage employee, right? I was a W-2 person. I think that's probably what the W stands for in W-2, wage, right? Um, I was a wage person. And again, I always like to reiterate that there's absolutely nothing wrong with a job, okay? Or a wage job. They are, they are, they are a great place to start they're just not the best place to finish, typically and statistically. So, um, and so what today's conversation is about is saying, hey, look, if you're in a position right now where you earn a wage, okay, so you're in the E quadrant on Dr. Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow quadrant, then we want to show you how important it is to make a beeline to the right side of his quadrant and be a uh, in the B quadrant as a um, uh, leverage leveraging people or in the I quadrant, which is also on the right side, which is leveraging money. OK, one, you're getting the, the benefits of uh, having one percent of 100 people's efforts than 100 percent of your own. Right. J. Paul Getty was the first person who coined that. I'd rather have one percent of 100 people's efforts than a hundred percent of my own. That means you 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 split up the workload, okay? Which is an amazing concept because when you think about the power of team and team building, a lot of times people say, "Well, I don't like to recruit or I don't like to talk to people." Listen, building a team is one of the best things you could ever want to do, right? Building a team, all right, a unified body of one people that are focused on the same mission and cause, they have the same purpose, is one of the best things you could ever want to do, right? Because now you, you, you're socializing uh, with people of, of a like mind, right? It's an amazing experience. And so when you when you think about the importance of, of that B quadrant, right, that big business quadrant or franchising, for lack of a better word, you like to think that, the team divides the effort, but it multiplies the result. Write that down. The power in the team is that it divides the effort and it multiplies the result. And so you, uh, as a participant of the team, get a chance to bring your own value, right, to the community, to the organization, to the enterprise, and your results are multiplied because you're getting the results of the team, not just of what you contribute. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Okay. And you're dividing up the work, right? A, a great team, the best teams divide the workload 
and they multiply the result. It's, it's powerful, okay? And that's the importance of, the, of that B quadrant. And the I quadrant, right? Could we talk about the importance of profits? The I quadrant gives you the ability to let your money have babies, right? It gives you the ability to let your money have babies. And so you are put in a position to where you're going to put overalls on your money and your money is going to get up and go to work to help you pay bills, to help build that legacy that you ultimately always wanted to build. All right. So let's talk about the two definitions really quickly uh, in today's broadcast. So let's, so in your notes, do me a favor, write down the word wage, W-A-G-E, wage. Okay. Here's the definition I want to read for you. A fixed regular payment typically paid on a daily or weekly basis made by an employer to an employee, especially to a manual or unskilled worker. It's a basic definition. I'm sure I got this off Google. <laughs> All right, let's read it again. It's uh, a fixed regular payment typically paid on a, a daily or weekly basis made by an employer to an employee especially to uh, to a uh, especially to a manual or unskilled worker okay so let's dissect this definition uh really quickly just a couple of bullet points okay so if you take a notes a fixed regular payment so the first thing i want you to write down is fixed payment this is important the first thing i want you to write down is fixed payment Okay. Remember, the topic of today's broadcast is profits are better than wages. I'm going to share with you in my way of, of, of articulating this message, why profits are better than wages. So here we're talking about the wage. It's a fixed payment. Okay. So here's the equation for wage, by the way. Here's the equation. Write the equation down, right? Today we're doing math. All right. Here's the equation for wage. Number of hours times dollars equals wage. Write that down. Number of hours worked times dollar earned per hour equals your wage. So hours times dollars equals wage. Okay. Now, here's what you want to think about when you look at this equation. You got wage. How do you get a wage? You got the Number of hours times dollar amount equals your wage. When you look at that, the two variables that make up the wage, hours and dollar amount, those are two variables that make up wage, hours and dollar amount. The dollar amount can change. It can go up or it can go down. Preferably, it can go up. So that's a good thing is that the dollar amount can actually go up because if the dollar amount goes up, right, and the hours stay the same, the wage increases. If the dollar amount goes up and the hours stay the same, the wage increases. So the fact that the uh, the dollar amount can change is a positive. Okay. Now the reason I say the hour cannot change because it has a limitation. Write this down. The second variable in the equation, which is hours, has a limitation. Sure, you may only work four hours. You may only work eight hours, but you will never work more than 24 hours. You will never work more than 24 hours in a day. So the second variable in the equation has a limitation. So dollar amount can go up or down. Dollar amount can go up or down if it goes up the wage increases even if the hours stay the same. But if the hours go to the maximum it could ever go, if the hours go to the maximum it can ever go, which is 24 hours in a day, and you have this other variable with dollars, you can never change the, num the maximum number of hours you can work. So this, this variable has a limitation of 24. So one variable, the hours can change. One variable, I'm sorry, one variable, the dollars can change. The dollars can change. 
up or down. The other variable, which is the hours, has a maximum amount, which is 24. So if you hit the ceiling, if you hit the ceiling for the maximum number of hours you could work and your dollar amount for conversation's sake is fixed, then your wage is finite. Your wage has limitations. Because that one variable cannot change beyond 24 hours a day, your wage has a limitation. Now let's talk about profits. Let's talk about profits. Let's get the definition first. Profits describes, uh, describes the financial benefit realized when revenue is generated from a business activity that exceeds the expenses, costs, and taxes involved in sustaining said business. Let me repeat that. Here's what profits mean. Profits describe the financial benefit realized when the revenues generated from the business activity exceeds the expenses, costs, taxes involved in sustaining the business. So here's my simple way of defining it. I'm going to give you the equation, just like I gave you the equation for wage, right? What was the equation for wage? Dollar amount times hours equals wage. Let me give you the equation for profits. Profits is revenue minus expenses equals profits. Revenue minus expenses equals profits. Now, when I say expenses, I'm talking about, you know, uh, your taxes and everything that goes up on that, that where money has to come out of the business. So revenue minus expenses equal profits. So guess what? The equation for profits has two variables as well. One variable is revenue. One variable is expenses. You see that? One variable is revenue and one variable expenses. Okay. Now, why is this important to you? Because these two variables with profits are not the same as the same as the variables with wages, because both of the variables with profits can change. One of the variables with the wage has a limitation of 24. So it's finite. But the variables with profits, both of them can change. Why? Because when you have revenue, it can go down or it can go up to infinity. It can go up to infinity. Or you have expenses, they can go up or it can go down as well. So both of the variables for profits can go up or down. Now, obviously, for greater profits, you want the revenue to increase and you want the expenses to decrease. Therefore, the profits are greater. But because you have two variables that you can control and there, there's no limitation, then profits are better than wages. Because revenue minus expenses equal profits, the revenue can go to infinity. Expenses can go to zero. Typically, they don't, but they can. So therefore, profits are better than wages for that reason alone, because the revenue can increase, right? The expenses can decrease. Both variables can change in your favor with no limitation. However, when you're looking at the wage, you have one variable that can increase, which is the dollar amount. Yeah, you can make you know, $20 an hour, $100 an hour, $1,000 an hour for some professions. Not a lot, but for some. But that hour variable has a limitation of 24. You will not work more than 24 hours a day as an individual because there are only 24 hours in a day. It has a limitation. So your wage has a finite capability while your profits can be infinite. Therefore, profits are better than wages. So what you want to do is you want to put yourself in position to where you are earning profits, right? So you've established, remember the definition, it's the financial benefit realized when revenue is generated from a business activity. Right. So you want to be in position to have a business activity so you can generate profits. At some point, 
may not start out that way in the beginning because maybe you start the business that you love and desire. The revenue is zero in the beginning, potentially, and the expenses may be whatever they are. So the profits are not there as of yet. And if you listen to the last podcast, we talked about, you know, benefits of being a business owner. OK, but at some point, right, you want those expenses to exceed. I'm sorry, you want the, the revenue to exceed the expenses. Therefore, you get a chance to take advantage of the profits. Profits are better than wages. So listen, very simple concept to understand. And you want to do whatever it is you got to do to put yourself in position to earn profits. And you cannot earn profits unless you have a business by definition, right? Generated from revenue generated from a business activity. Revenue generated from a business activity. Revenue minus expenses equal profits. No profits, no business, no profits. Get yourself a business today if you don't already have one. So listen, this has been another episode of Game Time with Noble Mike Jameson. Super excited to have an opportunity to share with you. As always, like, subscribe to the channel, share the information with those that you love, know, and care about. With that said, have an amazing day. Take care. Take charge.